Ah, uh, yes, 2014. I remember it like it was yesterday. I had just put my PS3 out to pasture and I had a shiny, brand new PS4. Ready to blow my mind with the latest and greatest console tech. One of the most anticipated games for the PS4 came out in 2014, and that game was called Watch Dogs. I vividly remember it being shown at E3 previously and everyone was so hyped about it, including myself. It was an open world GTA style game that took place in Chicago with gameplay mechanics that revolved around hacking. It was a game that Ubisoft was really pushing hard at the time as something totally different and unique. Now here we are in 2024 and I find myself playing it again. How has it already been 10 years? This is one of those games where you can just have so much fun messing around in the open world, causing chaos, seeing the sights, and doing the various side quests. That's one of this game's strengths. But the main story is totally worth playing all the way through. Professional hacker Aiden Pierce is a low-key, underrated protagonist in my opinion. The story revolves around him trying to get his sister back after she was kidnapped. You think you have any control here? You get to talk to Nikki once you have something useful to give me. Follow that IP address and then we'll talk. Right now, you're just wasting my time. And that is also where DeadSec comes in, a small underground organization who are trying to take down tech company Bloom, who runs Chicago's CTOS operating system. Yes, it's an entire city running off an, of an operating system. Makes total sense, right? On top of all of that, it's revealed in the beginning that Aiden's niece was killed in a car crash at age 6 during a heist gone wrong. The main story moves at a solid pace and keeps you interested throughout. Just like Grand Theft Auto, as you play through the story, the open world is littered with side missions and collectibles. I feel like Watch Dogs does these very well. There are a bunch of QR codes you have to take photos of which lead to rewards and a special mission. There are even these mini murder mysteries, secret stashes, and over 100 spots around the city where you can check in and learn city history, which is one of my favorite features. That's something Ubisoft has always done, like with the Assassin's Creed games, for example. Somewhere along the way, between 2014 and 2024, I fell off of Watch Dogs. I just stopped playing for some reason. And once I decided to pick it back up 10 years later, the map had a lot of things left that I never discovered or conquered, like the things mentioned previously. So I've been knocking out all of these one by one, along with getting various trophies. There's something about these Ubisoft maps that are both bloated and somehow intriguing to the point where I just want to discover every little thing. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Slowly clearing out that map is so satisfying, despite how mundane some of the tasks may be. And by doing this, it just gives me a sense of accomplishment that it allows me to see every nook and cranny of a respective location. In this instance, it's Chicago. It's one of those games where you can do the side stuff all at once or you can complete them as you go, aside from a few things that may not unlock until you reach a certain point in the campaign. But playing this game for the fun factor is what it's really all about. You can drive to a coffee shop, get yourself a latte, and play a board game with a random stranger. I feel like I've got nothing. Oh yeah, yeah, guy's got Christmas lights all up around his cab. He was smoking. Hey, what can I get you? How do you even get away with this? Good choice. How smart do you feel today? Heck, you can even visit a bar and grab a drink and play the slot machines. You can even wake up one day and just decide to hack everything in the entire city causing mass chaos and comedy. It's just endless fun. And I must admit, Watch Dogs is just as fun now as it was a decade ago. It's still a PS4 game and no PS5 update has been released since then. It looks decent enough, but I can't imagine what a fresh coat of paint would do for it. But it has a ton of trophies, some online, which is unfortunate, but it's still a blast, you know, just clearing out that trophy list and exploring the entire city. And it came out with an 80 on Metacritic 10 years ago, which is about right in my eyes. It's still, you know, an 8 out of 10 game for me, despite the missed potential that so many talk about. But yeah, I mean, Watch Dogs in 2024 is just as fun as it was 10 years ago, and if you haven't played it, I totally recommend you checking it out. It's super cheap now, you can probably get it for like 10 bucks. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Watch Dogs in 2024. Have you guys played it? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay notified for future videos. And I'll see you guys next time.